All right, well, moving on now, one way Nebraskans are drawing visitors and economic dollars is through agritourism or adventure travel. It turns out that the Nebraska Tourism Commission has an upcoming agritourism and adventure travel workshop that you might want to check out. Joining us now with more is Jenna Barge. She is with Nebraska Tourism's Adventure Travel, and she's a specialist for them. Nice to have you here today. Thank you so much for having me. Yes. I'm so excited to talk to you about the workshop today. Yeah. yeah. So tell us about the event. Yeah, so um, the event is taking place November 5th through the 7th. It's a three-day event, so starting off with a welcoming evening and then two really packed days where we're going to be uh, visiting both agritourism and adventure travel businesses throughout Northeast Nebraska and Southeast South Dakota. Hmm, okay. so I hear this is kind of, you know, you're working with South Dakota a little bit on this. Absolutely, so we've partnered with South Dakota State Extension to offer this workshop. Um, I typically plan this event annually, and this is our first year that we are partnering with another state. Mm. Um, I'm excited because, you know, we're kind of getting more, f more bang for our buck. We're able to not just focus in on businesses that exist within the Nebraska, but um, businesses that exist within um, that shared border. So um, over South Dakota, um, when, when tourists travel, they're looking to experience things regionally. You know, they don't necessarily um, always need to stay right within state lines or right within county lines. So this is a great opportunity to really showcase that, um, you know, there's, there's lots that exist in that region and um, lots for people to see and do as well as lots for our attendees to learn about um, from these businesses. Mm -hmm. That is true. I mean, Nebraska, South Dakota have a great border there. Lots mm -hmm. going on. Lots. So what do you think attendees will gain from the site visits and from the speakers? Yeah, so um, w uh, we do have a wonderful keynote um, lined up for our first one that evening. Her name is Eliza Blue. Um, we, I'll tell you where you can go to find out more about her in a second. Um, but the real meat of this workshop is to allow entrepreneurs and small business owners to gain insights from these successful businesses. What have they done right? What mistakes have they maybe paid, made in the past that can other people can avoid as they embark on this journey if maybe they're looking to start their own um, agritourism um, venture? Um, you know, a lot of our folks that um, start these businesses in Nebraska are traditional farmers and ranchers, so they can, you know, really gain key insights of, you know, how do we, how, how, you know, how do I go about, you know, embarking into tourism, um, starting something new, um, and these businesses really have done that um, very effectively, um, or they've, um, you know, been around for a long time and doing great things. So mm -hmm. it's just, you know, the senior, the senior people within the state, um, kind of show, helping the entrepreneurs and helping those those um, earlier business startups um, get their foot in the door. Mm -hmm. I know you probably mentioned this already, but what would be an example of agritourism? Sure. Um, so um, it's it's fall. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, what lots of us are probably gearing up to plan our trip to our local pumpkin patch. Okay. Pumpkin patches are an example of agritourism. Mm -hmm. Most people that have pumpkin patches, it's not their full-time year-round gig. Mm -hmm. It's a fall activity that they've added on to their existing um, you know, farming operation that can bring them additional income. Um, oftentimes, you know, pumpkin patches now, you'll, you, it's not just going and picking a pumpkin. You guys probably know, you probably yeah. have probably been. It's, <laughs> it's, you've got your hay ride and you've got your corn pit and, you know, all these other fun family activities that can be easily added on to make it a full day experience, um, you know, for folks to get out and, and enjoy fall and enjoy these fun activities. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Perfect. All right. Where can people get more information about this? You can go to visit Nebraska slash industry. That is where we have all the information posted for our workshop. You'll see the workshop posted. You can click to read more and um, you can learn about our, our keynote, Eliza Blue, um, the full agenda, what we've got, li got lined up for you, the businesses that we're going to be visiting, um, as well as a link to register because we really want people to register soon. Um, we, uh, we just recently decided to extend our deadline until um, October 20th to register but we are capping attendees for this workshop. We want to keep it small and intimate and for it to be really, really enriching for the people that do get okay. to register with us. So please register okay. today. Okay. Jenna, thank you so much. Thank you.